I'm at the Ritz Theater in Oakland, New Jersey, where a successful fledgling theater company has just taken up residence. Ted Weinchick and his collaborative act studio are now working out of this former vaudeville house on the main drag of Oak Lynn. He believes the combination of a beautiful old theater and a vibrant new theater company will boost the stature of both the Ritz and collaborative act. Bruce Curlis has done such a wonderful job in the past 25 years here. And uh, I'd, I'd have to say that stepping in now, working alongside with him, the greatest thing that I get is to learn from the best. And that's what I'm hoping to do. I really hope the next year here to two years here are spent just learning from him. As far as what I can provide for shaping, I know that the Collaborative Act Studio, we have uh, spent uh, not only a great time getting a great crew together, a great cast together, a great creative team, we also worked on getting a great audience as well. An audience that I don't think ventures out to see as much theater uh, at, at, in, in New Jersey. We actually have a, a wonderful following from Philadelphia, and as far as we've had people come from Virginia to see shows, we have had people from New York to come see shows, uh, my hope is to bring that audience into here so they not only get to see what Collaborative is up to, but also get a chance to experience the Ritz. Weinchick says Collaborative Act Studio came about because he felt New Jersey theater goers deserved a high quality theater experience. I was getting, uh, I was getting cast a lot uh, in regional theater, professional theater, uh, working as an assistant director and stage managerial jobs and learning a great deal about the work that was out there. Um, and while those were wonderful opportunities, uh, I also uh, saw uh, an opening for that kind of theater to be done here in New Jersey. Uh, I kept having to cross the bridge for work. I had to keep uh, commuting an hour, an hour and a half for work. And I thought, uh, it's a shame that some of these plays that are being produced outside this locale are not being produced in New Jersey. Um, so it was very much an our gang attempt, let's put on a show. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we, gave, you know, we gave the company a name, and we gave it a mission statement, and we put on a first show. And I don't think it was until about three days before we opened, which was our first show, Splendor in the Grass, uh, that I remembered that we had to sell tickets for the damn thing. Weinchick is kicking things off by bringing his production of Groucho, A Life in Review, to the stage at the Ritz for the first time. He says Groucho's story, like the Marx Brothers comedy, is timeless. It's like any great story, you know? I mean, we've been telling the same story since biblical days and beyond. Any great story um, lives on, and, and Groucho's story individually as well as, a, as an entertainer continues to live on. It's a rags to riches tale. I mean, they, you know, they were family rich in love, but they certainly, uh, they, <laughs> Groucho himself was always looking for um, um, monetary gain. You know, uh, he was known as being a very frugal human being. Um, and uh, I think it's the classic Hollywood tale. It's the classic Hollywood tale that's been told. But now it's not just being told. It's being told through the humor of Groucho Marx. The humor itself lives on. I mean, you, we, can, we can see that right now. As you said, it's, it's lived on through cartoon, through parody. We've got the, uh, the, the pickle guy and, and so on and so forth. Uh, those one-liners, you know, one morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How I got in my pajamas, I don't know. I don't think we're ever going to stop telling that joke. <laughs> so for that reason alone, it holds up. Weinchick says he's hopeful Collaborative Act and its mission will continue to grow in the years to come. We're an evolutionary process. Um, you know, we are, we are very much a verb, not a noun. Every year we, we come out of a season learning something new about what the audience is looking for, what we're looking for, what we're trying to express artistically, uh, what... Um, what needs to be said to be quite factual about what's in store for collaborative. I can tell you that um, we will be providing performances for the Ritz Theater. The Ritz and collaborative are merging together, as you know. Um, and we'll be going in and out of schools uh, producing work for, for kids. It's be becoming very difficult to bring uh, classrooms into the theater. So what we are doing is we're going to them. Groucho, a life in review, can be seen at the Ritz Friday and Saturday, August 20th and 21st at 8 p.m. and Sunday the 22nd at 2. For Stage Magazine, I'm Jim Hilgen in Oakland, New Jersey.